Matthew's here with you all. Welcome back to my channel. My name's Cassie. If you're new, if you're not, welcome back to another video. This is not like usually how I start videos, but I promised you guys in my last vlog that I would show you the continuation of our living room revamp, remodel. We got a brand new couch and we're like hanging our TV and we're just giving like our whole space a makeover. And I promised I would share with you guys when we got the couch and just kind of like setting it up. And that's what we're doing right now. So we just brought it into the house. I don't know if I'm gonna put the clip before or after this. You guys will see. And I'm waiting for Matthew to get home. Matthew's my fiance if you're new just so we can start getting it unwrapped and like setting up the space So anyways, welcome back to another vlog subscribe if you guys are not ready I do a lot of fun vlogs on my channel about health and wellness lifestyle fitness all that fun stuff nutrition food cooking Speaking of cooking. I'm cooking right now. I'm making my favorite Asian lettuce wraps, which is one of my all-time favorite meals, I make it probably once a week, and it's so simple. I have the ground turkey cooking over there. I've just cut up my mushrooms and my bell peppers, and then I'm gonna do some other fun things with it. I wanna show you guys also these sauces that I use. My two favorite Asian sauces are these two. So the foodie teriyaki is a great gut-friendly teriyaki sauce and it's got really good ingredients. A lot of teriyaki sauces have super funky ingredients and are made with not the best stuff. So I really like this brand. And then I also use coconut aminos. These are a great alternative to soy sauce and they have way less sodium and they actually taste a lot better in my opinion. So those are the two sauces I'm gonna be using. And yeah, we'll get into continuing cooking, but just wanted to start off the vlog. I honestly don't know like what I'm gonna be filming because right now it's the evening at 6.30, so I'll definitely carry this vlog into tomorrow, most likely. But I wanted to start it off because I'm excited to get our living room revamped. the final product you guys oh my god that took so much longer than I thought there was just a lot of like plastic wrap and stuff on it and this is kind of like what it looks like right now but I probably will rearrange like just like some of the decor but just have an imagination but I love the couch it is really big like I'm gonna back up it takes up a lot of the living room but I love it and we're planning on hanging the TV up there so that's gonna look a lot better. I'll probably keep that fireplace, but I'm not sure it's gonna depend. I honestly, I might keep it, but I also think it'd be really cute to get like a really skinny table, maybe next to this fireplace, I'm not sure. Those pillows I'm not keeping. They came with the couch, but I'm not really like a blue person and I don't have blue at all in the house. So they're just right there. And then all these pillows also came with it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them because the back of them has a pattern a design. And the front doesn't, but I don't know. I kind of want to get some pillows that are just like different colors, like neutrals, like maybe like whites and more browns. I'm not sure. 
but and then also I want to do a gallery wall there so we've got our engagement photos right here that were on that wall I want to get a few more of them and do like a whole gallery wall right there love it so much we have not eaten yet so we're gonna do that now It's like 5.55 right now. I'm heading into an F45 workout. I have cardio day today. I don't know how much I'll be able to film. I'll still try to get some clips in for you because I always like to include some workouts in my videos. But this class is usually pretty busy. So we'll see. I'm drinking my pre-workout, the Numa. I mentioned these in my last vlog. I love them. My stomach does not hurt after I drink them. They have great ingredients. Recently, I've been switching off of Celsius and drinking these. Drink Numa, and I really love them. It's a cleaner energy source, and they never bother my stomach. Oh, I think my friend just pulled up. But yeah, I'm going to run into this workout. It's early. I've been doing the 6 a.m. because I just love having like a few extra hours in the morning to myself before I have to start work. It's so, so nice. So let's go get the sweat in. I'm really excited for cardio day. I've been doing a lot of lifting and I feel like I need to sweat. I need like a cardio workout. We're chasing the easy life. Amazing workout. I am a sweaty mess. Look at my tomato face. <laughs> Such a good workout and it feels so good to have my workout finished before the sun comes up. Oh, it feels so good. crazy hair at the moment but washed my hair I like really exfoliated in there such a nice shower I'm doing my skincare and also I'm putting on some self tanner I always get questions about what self tanner I use and I use Lux unfiltered products I use the hydrating self tanning cream number 32 
this is like my ride or die you guys i have been using that for years since i discovered it maybe like two years ago i used to use jergens before and that was a similar concept of a cream but it was not natural this is vegan non-toxic natural i love it so i use that and then to achieve or like maintain my face being tan i use the self tanning face drops number 12 i use these religiously you guys i would say of all the beauty products i use these two are like literally my ride or die i love them so if you're looking for like a good self tanner i highly recommend that brand also i have this one it's the conditioning body cream i love it but i got this like a year ago and i almost forgot about it and now i feel like it's not expired but like natural products kind of do go bad so i need to get another one but I do love this one. It's the Centel scent and it's amazing. I need to order a new one because that is one of the best lotions I've ever used in my whole life. It's so good. So it's 7.36 right now. I'm listening to a podcast. Um, it's called Ready, Set, Spill. It's the owner of Set Active, Lindsay Carter. And she has the founder of Dough on. It's like that edible cookie dough. Her name's Sabina. So I've been listening to that. It's a really great podcast all about like entrepreneurship and building brands and building communities and i've been loving it so i'm listening to that and then after this i'm gonna make some breakfast make some coffee and sit on the new couch before i have to start work at like nine that's why i love getting up super early because i love having some me time in the morning literally like two to three hours where i can just take my time do what i need to do before i start work it just really sets the mood if you don't have a morning routine guys i highly recommend to establish a morning routine that makes you feel your best if i just wake up and get right into my day i feel like i'm frazzled i'm not grounded i feel like i'm reactive all day and if i wake up on my terms and i have like things under control and i do my skincare i do my workout i do my meditation i have my breakfast i drink my water have my coffee all those things like i'm so much more productive and such a better person throughout the day because i've taken time to water myself which is like an analogy like water i think it's like water your plant before you water others or something but i've taken time to focus on myself before getting into the hectic day So I kind of wanted to like share with you guys the layout of my day and like what I do on a daily basis I think it'd be helpful if one day I did like a realistic Day in my life, which I guess is kind of like this but really realistic of like how I structure my day working a few different jobs So right now it's 11 59. I'm working my full-time nine-to-five job Which is a social media manager for the brand Ithaca Hummus. Also, I keep on seeing my hand I'm always talking with my hands but that is my full-time job i guess you could say is my nine to five job so i'm doing that right now if you guys have never tried hummus or ethical hummus and you like hummus definitely recommend they have really clean great ingredients i'm not even just saying that because i work for them but i genuinely was a fan like way before i worked for them i like would partner with them on some campaigns that they had and i kind of i guess you said would do like influencer stuff for them and then yeah i reached out to them one day and asked if they had any opportunities available and they did it was crazy how it happened so that's what i'm doing now that's like my full-time job and then after work is over usually i finish around like four or five depends on how busy the day is sometimes 5 30 
I start editing my YouTube videos or I do my nutrition course, kind of depends. I usually do that for like an hour and then I'll make dinner. And then while dinner's cooking, I'll keep editing, keep doing my course. And then I eat dinner. I might go back and do it a little bit more. And then generally I stop working at like eight. And then I watch TV and hang out with Matthew from like eight to nine, nine thirty, and then I go to bed. Um, but after work, I'm always, I feel like doing stuff for like my personal brand, like YouTube or content creation or my nutrition course. Also, I wake up so early so that way I can do my workout in the morning, like I've mentioned. And then sometimes I'll do some work like before I start work at eight or nine. It just depends on the day. I do work from home, which I love. I'm like such a homebody. So I just like thrive in my own home environment. As you can tell today, I'm literally on the couch. I don't have any calls today, which is really unlike my schedule. Usually with work, I have calls like two or three each day, but on Wednesdays, I don't have any calls. So I kind of just like get caught up. I do a lot of computer work, a lot of emails, a lot of like social planning, um, influencer partnership, campaign development, things like that. That's like what I do, but I'm starving. It's 12.02. I need to make something to eat. I'm trying to decide what I'm going to make. If I'm going to do like the Caesar wraps I've been making, those are so good. Could make that, right? I'm kind of in the mood for a salad. I might make a salad. That sounds kind of good. Like a big voluminous salad. Let's do that. I'm having a little snack. I wanted to show you guys what I'm having. So I'm having the Lesser Evil Power Curls. These are my favorite snack right now. I'm obsessed with them. They are like the perfect savory little snack and they're made with nine grams of protein per bag. They have egg whites and made with avocado oil, which I love. If you guys don't know this brand, Lesser Evil is my all time favorite snack brand. And I was first introduced to them by their popcorn. They have incredible popcorn flavors made with like coconut oil and all clean, good ingredients. And the Power Curls are also my favorite because they're a high protein snack and they have a really good ingredients. Like you can see here, it's just made with organic cassava flour, cage-free dried egg whites, avocado oil, tapioca starch, and Himalayan salt. And they're so good. So I'm having those and then I'm also just having some carrots that I cut up and chopped myself also. When you buy carrots whole and you chop them and peel them yourself, they taste so much better than the baby cut carrots. I highly recommend to do that. I don't know what it is about them, but like I'm obsessed with carrots like this. I want to share it with you guys you can't really see my face but for salad dressings what I always do is I put my olive oil and my balsamic or like vinegar or whatever you're using in this and that way I can know how much dressing I'm using sometimes I feel like when I just pour it like with a heavy hand as normal I'm just using olive oil and some of this cranberry pear vinegar I believe sometimes when I when I pour it I just feel like I use way too much or way too little I never know how much to use and this is like perfect so you shake it up in here. Not that I like portion control, I don't really like that word, but it just allows me to know like how much dressing I'm using and like the perfect amount that I am comfortable with. So that's what I do. And then I'm just adding some chicken. You always wanna add a good source of protein on your salads and healthy source of fat, of course, which is coming from the olive oil and the balsamic. A bunch of different greens, quinoa for some healthy carbs. I did chicken for the protein. I did some Asiago cheese. I did carrots and mini bell peppers. So, so good. I'm marinating our chicken right now for dinner tonight. So this is the dressing that I'm gonna be using, the marinade. I love Primal Kitchen because they're made with all avocado oil and really good ingredients. Much better than a lot of other seasonings and like dressings and marinades you'll find. So I love Primal Kitchen. If you're looking for any salad dressings or marinades, I highly recommend this brand. 
and then I'm just going to mix it in there in this little container and then usually we just like air fry things for dinner like we'll air fry the chicken for dinner go to Target, Home Goods, and then I have to stop by the grocery store real quick because we're out of eggs for the morning. And I love eggs for breakfast. But my plan is I want to try to find a plant for the corner there. I had one, but I ended up putting it in the bedroom just because it was way too big. I want to get like a really long skinny one because there's not that much room. I'll show you what I'm referring to. So I'll show you that. And then also I have a gift card to Target that I didn't use. The last time I went, I still have some left over. So I kind of want to get just a few different things to put around the couches, um, potentially like maybe some pillows. I'll show you what I'm referring to. This couch came with all of those pillows. I'm not going to keep any of the blue ones, but I do have them here just for the meantime. And I thought it'd be really cute to get like a really long skinny fake tree right here. And then depending on what I put there, if I put greenery right there, I want to get like some sort of like wooden bowl or something here because I have the other plant over there that I got from Target. So ignore how messy it is right now. I've honestly just been working and sitting on the couch all day. But yeah, I'm going to go and do that. So see you later, Dash. Be back soon. And I just had a little snack. I had some, I'll show you, Fitchoy pretzels and Lesser Evil popcorn. And then I also had, what well, I'm having right now, this beverage swoon. It's like a lemonade. It has only five calories, zero sugar. I'm really in the mood for a poppy, but I don't have any. These are really good. This brand sent me this drink and they're really tasty. I don't know what it is about home goods lately, but I never ever have any luck in there. I don't know what it is, but every time I go in there, I just can never find anything and it's frustrating because I have all these gift cards there but either they need to like rotate their current inventory or maybe they're just waiting on new inventory to come in or maybe it's the location I'm going to but I can never find anything at the home goods that I go to but I can always find stuff at Target <laughs> I love Target but I don't know I'm just like not vibing home goods stuff right now I feel like they don't really stay up with like I don't know at least the style I'm looking for it's very like floral and like spring and like bright colors which is fine it's just like not what I'm looking for so let's go to Target <laughs> freaking out right now I have been looking for an olive pot or plant like this for so long I'm in a lane right now I should probably leave so man is like what are you doing <laughs> I have been looking for this tree for so long it's basically like an artificial olive fox tree and I saw it on Target's website so many times but I never bought it because I wanted to see how it was in person they don't sell it in store and I got my hands on one I gotta get out of here because I'm have my blinkers on and I don't have a car mount in this car yet, so I have nowhere to put my camera. I need to figure out where to put my car mount. Literally, I have been eyeing that fake tree for months, and I never pulled the trigger because I didn't want to buy it online. I wanted to see it in person, but they don't sell it in person, so I just never bought it. And it was crazy how it happened. So I was literally checking out, and I saw it. I was like, I have been looking at that for so long. How is that here? So I asked, and the girl that was working told me that somebody bought it online and returned it. And 
I don't know why she returned it, but she's like, yeah, we can't sell it to you because we don't sell these in store. Like we have to sell it back to the warehouse or something and then somebody else can buy it online or you could buy it online, but it has to be shipped from like the warehouse. Like you can't buy it in store. And I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, that's so silly. It's literally right here. It costs you more money to ship it back rather than to just sell it to me. Like I'll buy it. And she's like, I don't know, maybe I could just void the whole thing of the return and maybe I could just sell it to you. And I was like, yeah, I'll buy it. And she was like, okay, let me like check with my manager. And she did. And I bought it. And I'm so excited. It's like the exact piece I was looking for for that couch. I also got a gorgeous bowl that I've been eyeing as well. And then I also got three wooden frames because I want to do a gallery wall. I'm so excited. I feel like my dream aesthetic of the living room is coming to life. And I'm so excited. I'll share more when I get home, but oh my God, it's huge. I got these three picture frames. I wanted to incorporate some wood in here and my plan is to put them right there. So like one here, here, here. I probably to do them horizontally instead of vertical, but I have to get pictures obviously printed, but I loved the light wood on these. And then obviously I got the plant. I'm gonna put it there. I just need to like clean up a bit. And then I also got this beautiful bowl. I just thought it was really different and I just loved the texture and material of it and also how it looks. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put that yet, but we'll see. Here is how it looks. I'm obsessed with this look right now. I'm so happy and I feel like once we have these up on the walls, it's going to look so good. Kind of just picture it like three across. I'm so excited. I love it. I finally feel like the apartment is coming together. We've been here for over two years. So obviously like the style of Mine and Matthew's has really changed and evolved and just like matured in general. And this is like really speaking to me. I love the simple aspect of it. I love the bowl there and I love the greenery there. I feel like it needed a little pop of color, but I'm loving it. And when those pictures are up, it's gonna be so good. Tonight's dinner, roasted sweet potatoes, Brussels sprouts, chicken, using this Primal Kitchen Dreamy Italian. I'm so happy with how everything turned out. We're probably going to put the picture frames up on Friday, but I might include that in this video because I want to like name the video. It's a vlog, it's a day in my life, but also like living room makeover because I feel like a lot of this video has been dedicated to that. So you might be seeing this at the end of the video, but I probably will put something before this of us putting up those pictures so you guys can see exactly how it looks and how everything came out. seeing this video a little bit different than my everyday ones but I thought it'd be fun to kind of bring you along on our transformation of the living room I mentioned this in my last video last Friday but we have decided like we're not gonna buy a house probably until the wedding if something comes up before maybe we will but with just the market and everything right now it's not like our main priority so that's why we really wanted to transform our space a little bit to reflect like our style now and just update some of our pieces so it feels like we're in like a brand new place which i really love because we've been here for like two years and it just feels like refreshed and 
it has me inspired which I love. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing this type of content. And if you do, please let me know, leave a comment down below, like this video, subscribe, all of that. It really supports my channel and I always appreciate your guys' love and support. My Instagram is gonna be linked here. Don't forget to follow me over there. I'm always posting like more real-time content. I'm on my stories like 24 seven. So if you wanna stay up to date, always a lot of reels. But I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.